Hey everybody and welcome back to another Let's Buy a Chateau. Okay, so in my last video there was a pretty good response to those of you wanting to see a chateau that needs a little bit of restoration but a big beautiful piece of history. Check. Yes, a good thing. So um, I'm going to help you walk through another one today. So meantime, I am still debating between two different properties that I saw in France a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we're still waiting on that. I haven't made a decision yet and I'm still working on this house to sell it. And then I can really think about it and move forward. So in the meantime, let's look at another one together. As you can see here, uh, I have pulled up a photo of this chateau. Now this one has to be partially restored and some of the work has already been done. And this one's a little more expensive, but still we're under a million dollars. This is listed at 852,000 euros. That comes out to 921,000 approximately US dollars. So let's take a look at some of our photos we have here. So this one was built on the location of a 15th century property, but what we see here today was actually built in 1860 and some updates and things that were done in 1903. So maybe not crumbling as much as uh, some of the other ones. And I love this angle because the sun is hitting it. There's a beautiful facade. You see that sweet little pond water feature uh, right next door. Can you imagine walking out those two French doors right there and just looking out over your land, which by the way, there are approximately 17 acres of land, parkland, centuries old trees, just a beautiful place. And by the way, this is lo located in the Vendée region. Um, the property itself is about 55 minutes from the coast, from the western coast of France. 55 minutes, 55 miles, really, and you're on the coast. That's not bad. This is a good day trip, right? Leave your chateau to go hang out at the beach for a day. I could live that life. Uh, here's a close-up of that beautiful door I was just referencing and all the flowers in bloom. There's an old French charm about this entire photo, isn't there, with the flowers the patina on the walls and the stairs, but yet those beautiful doors in amazing condition, by the way. So this one needs to be partly restored, but I mean, look at it, a lot of it's really great and I think it's habitable, it's being lived in right now. Here's another shot of the interior and those walls, ceilings, floors are looking fantastic. In all, there's about 3,000 square feet with this house. Um, big tall ceilings, no peeling paint on these ceilings or these walls. They look amazing, really great condition. And uh, this looks like kind of like the eat-in kitchen area of uh, the house with that really cute tile floor, really pretty. And here's one of the bedrooms. In all, there are five bedrooms in the main house itself. And it really, it looks in great shape. Someone's obviously living in it, it's habitable. Then you step outside and really wouldn't you just want to stand outside and look at your view most of the time anyway. Here is the view looking out of the terrace onto some of your 17 acres of land and those big, huge, historic trees. Very peaceful, but yet not terribly far from civilization. You are three kilometers away from a village. So that's you know, not even two miles, I don't think, when you do the uh, transition. Um, not far, and you can almost see it in, in the distance in this photo that there are some buildings and you're not completely secluded uh, out into the middle of nowhere, but still you have your peace and quiet and privacy. And there are a couple of outbuildings. There are stables, there's a shed, um, there's a lean-to, uh, there's plenty to keep you busy and plenty for storage and whatnot. And of course for horses, you can just barely make out in this photo. There's some horses in the distance. So really a lot of options with this property, but yet so peaceful. I love that. And here is our final photo, the other side of the house as it looks out onto the countryside. 
So again, this is in the Vendée. This is actually in or near uh, the town of, I hope I say this right. Let's see, it'd be Pousoge. Pouzoge, Pouzoge, this is the name, uh, in the Vendée region in western France, again, 55 miles to the coast. We're just north of Bordeaux a little bit, so um, a great location. Um, yeah, beautiful place. Again, this was built in 1860, and a lot of those outbuildings need some renovation, and I imagine some of the interior work needs to be done, but it's obviously being lived in, and just needs to be partly renovated. So if you're looking for a great house, that's not a major project, but we'll keep you busy. <laughs> and this probably would, especially that landscaping. Uh, this might be a good option for you. If you want to see the previous video I just made, click up here and I'll show you one that needs a lot of renovation, a huge, massive project, but really it would be worth it to save this beautiful chateau. And that's really what a lot of people are hoping to do, save their piece of history as caretakers uh, so these beautiful buildings don't fall apart. That is uh, this week's Let's Buy a Chateau tour for today and uh, more Chateau videos and an update on my decision. I will know a lot more in the next week, so I will give you my updates on what's happening here in the U.S. Um, as my family and I work on our move to France next year but we're buying the house this year so that's why this is all happening now we want to buy the house this year we have it all ready to go for us to make the big move in 2025. thank you for subscribing i love your comments i love your feedback on what you think of these chateaux and yes the heating costs are always astronomical <laughs> but that's the price you pay to live in a beautiful old building am i right all right we'll see you next time friends